what would you say was the biggest difference maker in the game, Charles? That Nick Foles, that Nick Foles and Doug Peterson did not allow any of that stage to be a real issue. It's unbelievable. Look, going into the, look, going into the game, it, was, it's, it had to be a storyline. I don't care what we say. You know, I don't care if you write a, a kid's fiction book. If you've got a coach who has that many playoff games, experienced that many Super Bowls against a coach who's there for the first time, it's a storyline. And I think that, that Doug Peterson did something in this game that coaches talk about doing but rarely follow through on. And it was what we saw, being aggressive, you know, transmitting that to your team, being true to who you've been all year long, calling those plays on your sheet when the situation arises that you have said, okay, if we get in this situation, this is the perfect play for it. And you and I both know, Rich, how many times coaches have talked that, preached that, and then you get into a game like that, they look up at the scoreboard, we're up 10, ah, let's not screw it up. All right, give me the sprint draw. Right. And Doug, and Doug Peterson went, look, the, the, the Philly special came after a timeout on fourth down where he had plenty of opportunity to say, forget it, kick the field goal. Right? I thought nope. that's why he called the timeout, Charles. I'll be honest with you. To talk, to talk about it, you know, and, you know, everyone's in their ear. You know, there's a lot of talk about these things. And I know, I've, listen, I've been in these rooms before, and I know from talking with different people. Amy Trask wrote that great book, okay, about, about, you know, her experiences in the NFL. And she talked about her husband, talked about the John Maynard Keynes quote, which paraphrase says, we live our lives based essentially on what will give us the least amount of blowback, right, or what's the most defensible for us. And Doug Peterson did not call his game like that. Every time he called, had a situation that called for one thing, it felt like he was calling the other and was hitting. Jay Ajayi on third and four, he runs the football. You know, I mean, things of that nature. The Philly special after the timeout, yep, we're going to run it. And it was successful. It was that kind of a night for him. He really assumed the stage and never once backed off from it. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.